We have people from, I think, five different churches here, maybe more. So there's a group of us here from St. Mary's. St. Mary's, wave a hand. Thank you. And some from St. Anne Line. Thank you. From Woodford Baptist Church. Uh, the Salvation Army. Thank you. And Woodford Methodist Church. Yes, thank you. Anybody else want to identify themselves? No. Okay. So we'll begin by singing the first hymn on the sheet. There is a green hill far away. Friday, many centuries ago, when our Lord Jesus Christ died on a cross in a very public place where people were going past, uh, and falsely accused of sedition, and we believe as he died on the cross there, he was doing something that was good for us, and so we call this Good Friday. After our next hymn, uh, Pastor Jonathan Somerville, the new minister at Wicker Baptist Church, will come and share with us his thoughts on that first Good Friday. Uh, we sing now, When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died. Thank you. 
love so amazing. I don't know what you think of love. Ray Noble said, love is the sweetest thing. Which is kind of sad for some because 10 CC said that they're not in love. Bobby Gentry says he'll never fall in love again. And they might really be in trouble because the Beatles said, all you really need is love. Doris Day had a secret love. Love Affair had an everlasting love. Soft Cell had a tainted love. The Rebets had a sugar baby love. Leonie Lois had a bleeding love. And T-Rex, well, they had a hot love, which doesn't sound terribly comfortable. Johnny Osmond had, first of all, a puppy love and then a young love. But Whitney Houston, well, she had the greatest love of all. Joe Cocker and Jennifer Warnes told us that love would lift us up to where we belong. And Madonna asked us to justify her love. John Newman asks, will you love me again? And Glenn Medeiros says, nothing is going to change his love for you. Isn't that sweet? Ray Charles says he can't stop loving you. And JLS say they are going to love you more. Bit of a competition there. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez says, love doesn't cost a thing. But Renee and Renata said, save your love, my darling. Save your love. The searchers are kind of worried. And so they said, please, don't throw your love away. The Black Eyed Peas wonder where is the love, but it's okay because Rihanna said she found love. It was in a hopeless place. And wet, wet, wet think love is all around me anyways. Cheryl Cole is going to fight for this love. Beyonce is crazy in love. And Elton John wants to know, are you ready for love? Phil Collins says you can't hurry love. But Gary Barlow says, love just won't wait. <laughs> I wonder what you think about love. And we just sung of love. Love so amazing, so divine, demands my soul, my life, my all. What kind of love? And uh, I don't know if you realize it, but love really is what we need right now. I don't know whether you looked at the news in the last, I don't know, two years. <laughs> and realize that if there's something lacking in the heart of our land, it is love. And the kind of love that might just change the way that things happen and the kind of national mood and the national way in which we're talking to one another right now. In Ephesians chapter two, in the New Testament, right there in the middle of the New Testament, the second half of the Bible, Paul tells us that one of the things that was happening on that Good Friday when Jesus died on a cross, when God, who had become man and lived among us, and allowed himself to be offered as a sacrifice for us all, Paul says one of the things that was happening was that Jesus was dying on the cross to deal with all the division that exists between human beings. Paul says God's desire was to recreate humanity. There would just be one people united in Jesus. Friends, we live in a day and we live in a time where we need something that will unify us. I need to tell you, it won't be a theory or an idea, but there is someone who can unify us. And we accept that love that God offers to us on Good Friday, that demonstration of love. We find not only do the barriers between us and God come tumbling down, but the barriers between us and all of those who call upon his name come tumbling down too. We want to be a different kind of people and a different kind of nation in the future, I'm sure. Friends, this Good Friday message speaks to the very heart of our society and says unity in our society is only possible when we find unity with God first in Jesus. So this Good Friday, perhaps, I invite all of us to once more gaze upon that cross and realize what's happening. That the price for everything you and I have ever done wrong is being paid, but also the price for anything that somebody has done to you, or the price that you have done to somebody else. It's all paid on the cross. We don't have to punish one another and live in separation anymore, because Jesus is making one new humanity. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for the work of Good Friday, for what you did on the cross, that you would take our place in suffering and dying. And that you make a way for us to be united once more with our Father in heaven, but also to be united with one another. And Lord, we say our nation needs hope. Our nation needs love. Not just the pop song kind of love, but the love that comes from you. 
that draws us into one new humanity. So work among us. First here as churches gathered in this part of uh, Woodford, but Lord, also through the nation we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jonathan. We are offering an opportunity for people to share the love of God with the folk around us on the streets today. We have some bags here ten containing bags. ten bags. We need ten volunteers. Uh, and in each bag there are several small bags with an Easter egg and an Easter card. So if you are feeling brave under the power of the Holy Spirit to give these to people walking up and down, do come forward and take a bag during the next hymn that we're going to sing. Just the chance to gently share the love of God with our neighbours. And you can also give away the, the service sheets as an example, telling the story of what Jesus has done for us on the cross. So now we sing our third hymn, How Deep the Father's Love for Us. celebrate with us today. Would you bow your heads for a blessing? May the Holy Spirit of God make us bold to share our faith in public, and may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us now and evermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Everybody.